她是担任此职务的第一位女性掌门人，她是全球两性平等的倡导者。Girls' education is one of the best ways of achieving the sustainable development goals. It has a multiplying effect on all the other sustainable development goals. 战乱、气候、灾害、古迹遗址之殇和解。I have seen for myself how much disaster and uh, destruction a conflict uh, can make, particularly deliberate destruction. Foreign Dialogue interview with the World Health Organization Secretary Elena Bokova. Elena Bokova was born in 1952 in the capital city of Sofia. 曾担任保加利亚外长和保加利亚驻法国摩纳哥大使。二零零九年至二零一七年，博克娃任联合国教科文组织总干事，是历史上担任该职位的首位女性，也是第一位来自东欧国家的掌门人。在任期间，博克娃力推教科文组织机构改革，倡导性别平等。投身于促进全民优质教育、跨文化交流和科学合作的国际运动中。Ms. Bokova, it's、uh, wonderful to have you with us here in Beijing, and、uh, a very welcome on Talk with World Leaders. Thank you. And would you share with us your latest engagements and commitments after your role as the、uh, Director General of the UNESCO? I'm, I'm involved with very many universities.、Uh, mm. I think it's the time for me to share, to share、mm. with young people, with students. Recently, just、uh, very recent, I became an honorary dean of the、uh, School of International Organizations with the Beijing Foreign Studies University.、Right. And I already had a couple of exchanges with students, a very vibrant、um, environment. And、mm. also,、uh, I continue to follow the More the multilateral. I am chair of the、uh, governing council of the United Nations University for Peace、mm. uh, in Costa Rica. I was appointed by、uh, the Secretary General Guterres last、mm -hmm. year, and I'm sitting on the board of the Ban Ki Moon Center for Global Citizen with the former Secretary General, where we continue to promote、uh, with him、mm. uh, sustainable development agenda and.、Uh, Women. We support a lot of lot of programs on women's empowerment、mm -hmm. uh, and youth. Right, Ms. Bakova, would you please share with us your view on multilateralism? Why do you think it is important, especially now? I'm a deep believer、uh, in multilateralism.、Mm -hmm. I started my career as a young diplomat,、uh, working in the United Nations in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of my country, Bulgaria,、mm -hmm. um, and then I. Followed uh, this path,、uh, and now, of course, after my eight years、uh, at UNESCO, I'm even more convinced that、uh, multilateralism is vital for this world. I believe deeply、uh, because I have been visiting so many countries、uh, mm. when I was at UNESCO, and I continue traveling. And I have visited refugee camps. I have been visiting uh, uh, offices of the United Nations. I have、mm. visited schools and.、Uh, Talking to my colleagues, also from the UNESCO offices, from the UN system,、mm. and every time I was looking at the、uh, blue flag of the United Nations,、uh, mm. it was giving hope. It was giving hope for many, very many people、uh, in dire situations.、Mm. We tend to forget that、uh, the United Nations、uh, prevented so many conflict in the world. Mm. And the United Nations peacekeepers are still in many places. I think there are more than 50, around 50 peacekeeping missions in the world, where they still provide、mm. uh, a lot of support for the countries to come out of uh, conflict, uh, to rebuild、uh, their institutions,、uh, to help、uh, people also uh, uh, following,、uh, to work with children、um, uh, for the education, to get them to school and others. So、mm. I think it's a great history of supporting humanity、mm. uh, in sometimes difficult situations. Now, of course, we would like to have to see more, and I know that there are people who said why the United Nations did not do、uh, one or another. But、mm. the United Nations is at the end of the day member states,、mm. 
And I remember a famous phrase of one of the former Secretary Generals who said, mm. the United Nations were not created to bring us to heaven, mm. but to prevent us from hell. Mm. So I think United Nations is still enormously important. There is no other organization in the world that is universal mm. and that has also a common agenda, mm. common agenda for sustainable development, mm or for combating climate change. Mm. I think we should overcome this current phase, reform, of course, mm. the institutions created eight years ago. We mm. need to work differently, maybe, but we should not consider that there is something else that can substitute the United Nations. So I think the Secretary General has a, a very strong um, reform agenda that he last year he launched it, the future we want, and next year there will be a major gathering at the United Nations, a mm. summit on the topic of the future we want, mm. and I hope some strong decisions will come out of that, mm. of how to reform and how to look at the future as one humanity. <laughs>